What is going on everybody? It's Go-Karts Mini Bikes and More and today I got this Go-Karts engine running. Now if you guys saw the first video I showed you guys the engine that was on it and I believe it's a Tecumseh six and a half horse or eight horse and I explained in that um, how it uh, was not running it was dripping gas and everything well uh, I got it running um, the pull cord broke so I wasn't able to use that so I just took the uh, recoil off and I tried wrapping the rope that broke on it around the starter cup but that didn't work then um, I got a little smart and I made this little uh, piece out of a deep socket. This is a three-quarter uh, socket. And I ran a long bolt. You probably can see it in there. Uh, I ran a long bolt through that had like one of those built-in washers um, through the back. And then put a washer and a nut on uh, the back. And I tightened them down. And then I squared off two sides of the bolt just so it doesn't spin in the drill and I put it in the drill and I uh, put it on the nut on the starter cup and basically made a redneck uh, redneck electric start so it was running good after I put some gas on the spark plug and everything and it was running good but it was still just leaking gas and everything so um, I I'm not exactly sure as to why, but there's a few reasons on why it could have been. Uh, one, when I took the gas tank off to take the carburetor off, the fuel line was all cracked and dried uh, out. So I just put some new fuel line on running to the gas tank. Uh, just some red fuel line I had left over from my um, go-kart, my race cart. So I took the carburetor off and I took it apart and everything in it was really bad. It was corroded and everything. And the seal for the bowl was split and cracked and everything. So I took that off. As you can see, there's no carburetor. Uh, it normally went right here, about like that. And then the governor arm is right there. And as you can see, it would have moved the uh, butterfly and the carburetor. But I got rid of that, and uh, it's in a box somewhere in the garage. Um, but I'm going to get a new one because they are only like 10 to $14 for these Tecumsehs. So that's really cheap. So instead of rebuilding that carburetor and spending as much as it would for a new carburetor, I figured it would just make more sense to get a whole new one. Um, this way it runs good, and I have a new carburetor onto it. Um, but the little choke thing to make the choke uh, turn easier, I guess, that was on there. And that was in the way of putting an air filter on. So I took that off, um, and I'm going to leave that off to put a pod filter on it because this didn't have an air filter. Um, it doesn't matter now because it's winter and there's not really a whole lot of dirt. But uh, this summer, uh, I do plan on putting a pod on it when I put a new carburetor on it just so it has an air filter and some uh, protection. So the reason why I think this wasn't starting was this factory kill switch or on and off switch, if you will, um, that had to get disconnected because it was ran up to a, um, a new switch that was on the go-kart steering wheel and I guess to hook up a new one and run it to the steering wheel of the go-kart they unhook this one and use the leads that are coming off the flywheel uh, flywheel coil so this one was disconnected so i took the shroud off and i found that this was not plugged in so i plugged it in put some gas on the spark plug uh prime the the carburetor and just tried cranking it over with the drill it took a little bit but it's finally fired up and uh, it runs really great. It's ungoverned. Um, either that or it's just bypassing the governor. But either way, um, I don't have to take the governor out. So that's one less step that I have to do, which is nice. Um, so what I was planning on doing was once I get the new carburetor and I'm going to put a new spark plug in it and everything. Once I get it running to where it'll start in a few pulls is I'm going to leave the 
pull cord cover off and just leave the starter cup showing like this and just have it like a uh, wrap around rope that you wrap around and pull and then have to keep doing that if it doesn't start just as like a little uh, make it look a little retro because uh, if you guys remember in my Azusa mini bike unboxing I showed you guys this mini bike frame and um, this is from like the 60s or something like that the 60s or 70s I can't quite remember um, so I figured vintage mini bike um, so why not have a vintage looking mini bike engine with the uh, rope start that has no recoil so that's just what I'm gonna do um, this, but right now this engine's on the back burner mainly because as you can see this mini bike is far from being done um, but by the time this mini bike is done I may have a new project to put that on I'm not quite sure yet um, I'll have to see what the universe brings and uh, so this will either end up on that or end up on a really cool project as well maybe another go-kart or something like that I don't know um, but anyway, speaking of the off-road go-kart, there's the race cart. Um, not much has changed with that. I raised the steering wheel a little bit just because I'm getting a little bit tall and uh, it just wasn't comfortable anymore. But um, if I, do you guys remember in the how to take off a stuck wheel, I told you guys how when I was horse kicking it, um, I broke the valve stem off of the tire of the tube so I had to get a new tube and uh, I got a new tube and I went to go put in the new tube. I got everything good and everything. And of course I didn't have the right tire spoons or anything. I was using sharp flathead screwdrivers and everything. And I popped the brand new tube. So I was wrestling with it for an hour or so just to find out that I wound up popping the tube in the end. Um, so I'm going to get a new tube for it. And uh, this time I am taking it to a tire shop to let them put that in just so that doesn't happen. Uh, I found that a 212 actually fits in here quite snugly. Uh, the gas tank like just hits the back of the seat. But I don't really want to do a 212. There's not a lot of torque in them for an off-road go-kart. So I think what I'm going to do is get a flat square plate and drill some holes to line up with a 420 and then uh, raise it up a bit so I could put bolts into this. This way I can mount a 420 but still keep this stock plate um, just to make it a little bit simpler. So that's just um, a quick update. I haven't really posted a video in a while just because I've kind of been out of ideas as to what to uh, post. But I just thought I'd uh, share the news that I got the Tecumseh power sport that came off my off-road go-kart running and uh and then not running <laughs> so like i said i'm gonna do a new carburetor do all the maintenance to it to get it running good and running strong um so back to the off-road go-kart actually i was thinking instead of calling it an off-road go-kart because that's kind of really long to say because all i had to say you uh before was go-kart because this was the only go-kart i had but now that i have two i want people to know what i'm talking about without having to say my race car or my off-road go-kart so what i decided to say is just call this one my go-kart and this one my dune buggy um it's a little stupid but as you can see it does really look like a dune buggy and uh it's a lot less time to say it than off-road go-kart and race cart so that one will be called go-kart this one will be called the dune buggy and as always guys i need some names for my dirt bike race cart uh off-road go-kart or dune buggy and my azusa mini bike frame which i will be painting uh very very soon so watch out for that video when it goes up but other than that that's really all i have for you guys today sorry it's not a really exciting video i do promise to have a better video up next time um but until then like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Um, tell your family about me. Tell everyone you know about go-karts, mini bikes, and more just to help grow my channel. Um, I'm still stuck at, I believe it's 11 subscribers, and I want to get up to at least 150 to 200 by summertime, and it's close to the end of winter. I hope you guys can do it, and I hope you can grow my channel, and 
I am glad to have you guys as fans, the, the 11 of you that are there. But guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell people about Go-Karts, Mini Bikes, and more. And like always, guys, see you next time on Go-Karts, Mini Bikes, and more. I'm out.